Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have another story time. Just things that keep happening to me that are absolutely hilarious that I just need to talk about before I do the videos that I said I'm going to do. But before I get into the video, I just want to shout out a product real quick. <laughs> now, what do you think this is? Comment down below what this is. <laughs> yeah, yep, it is. And let, let, let me say this. Do you want to ditch the awkward talk at the counter with the lady at the store? Or do you want something that ships discreetly to you? <laughs> Love of I can do that. <laughs> this is the Princess Athena. And all I have to say is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 experience. Would try again. Saw stars. Amazing. Do toys replace your partner? In this case, yeah, they do. Um, the link in the description is a code for 10% off, Donna, D-O-N-A-E, all caps, for 10% off of your very own. Let's ditch the awkward talk about sex toys. Why it gotta be so awkward? You are never going to know pleasure if you don't practice on yourself. So, the Princess Athena with Love of I, link in the description for 10% off, and have your own little jolly time. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it also is USB rechargeable. So you don't even have to buy those little battery thingies. <laughs> Not that I have experience with that. It's USB rechargeable. So you can just recharge it, plug it in, boom, and get to doing the do. Um, so yeah, great experience. <laughs> and ladies, put you first, okay? Because men more than half the time don't know how to get a job done. So here you go. Princess Athena, loveify.com. Do the dang thing. Okay. <laughs> and don't fret. It is waterproof for all us super soakers. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> have you have you ever seen stars before? Hmm. No? Well, I feel sorry for you because I have, thanks to Love of I. <laughs> and I just want my sisters to have the same experience as me. So, link in the description, 10% off. You go do that, and let's get into this YouTube video. <laughs> so, this is the story time of when I was on a date with a criminal. <laughs> um, this is probably the funniest story time that I have right now that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so, I had met this guy. And we we're going to the movies. And um, at the time, you needed a vaccine passport. And to show your vaccine passport, you also have to show a piece of government-issued ID. So health card, driver's license. And he didn't have that on him because he was, um, he told me he lost his wallet. So I was just like, oh, okay. So like the whole time, wherever we would go, he would just be like, I lost my wallet. So I was just like, oh, okay. So he had a picture of his driver's license. So like they let him do that anyway so we get into the movies watch a movie we come out we're going to uh wendy's to eat and so it was like maybe like 10 p.m it was getting late and then he was like okay like i have to go now i don't want to but i have to go so i was just like what do you mean like okay like that's fine like i get it you're driving with like without a license without your insurance on you that's like a big deal so like yeah and then he was like yeah there's also another thing Keep in mind, the whole day, I was just under the impression he lost his wallet. And, you know, that's not okay. He had cash, by the way. Let me start off by saying that. He did have cash. So he paid just in cash. But, um, yeah, so he's in the car. He's sitting. He's just like, um, there's also another thing. And then I look over and I'm just like, yeah, what? And then he's like, I also have a warrant out for my arrest. <laughs> I looked over. I was just like looking at him like and then he was just like and I laughed so freaking hard that was probably the funniest thing that has ever happened to me in my life really quick story there's not much technical things involved um I was on a date with a criminal and if we got arrested that would have been me locked up it would have been freed on um for a cute minute yeah I was like why the hell would you even have me here it, like, babe, you're looking for love. The police are looking for you, babe. You should be looking for a lawyer. Not love, babe. A lawyer. Wrong L. Um, 
wrong out so i'm sitting there and he's just like writing his nail looking at me like nonchalant and then i just burst out laughing and then he's just like what and then i was like are you serious <laughs> he's like yeah i was like babe this is really sweet that you still wanted to engage in today but you know i would have been fine with can we reschedule i have a court date coming up i would have been totally fine um with that <laughs> and so then he's just like oh yeah and so i'm like what happened and then he was just like who's asking thinking like i'm part, I'm, I'm with the feds or something like i'm chipped so i'm like what do you mean who's like me <laughs> the person he was just in the movies with i don't i don't know like you know my instagram that's me original don's asking um he didn't tell me what it was um but he just like kind of like giggled and was like yeah okay so can i take you home because i just don't want to be on the road for too long <laughs> like okay so we're <laughs> in the car we're in the car just sitting and i'm just thinking about how the whole time the excuse was at, for it lost my wallet but the excuse should have been babe i'm i'm a, i'm i'm a criminal he really wanted this to be Bonnie and Clyde situation, and that would not be the case. That would not be the case. Um, if anything had happened, babe, anything you've ever told me, I would have said to the police. I don't. I don't know anything. <laughs> My life is in danger because you want to have a good time. Have a good time in prison. Have a good time in prison. Um, so yeah, like I'm just in the car. Like I'm not really saying anything. I'm just kind of like looking out to see like when police pass by or whatever, and like kind of like sinking in my seat and like just kind of shaking my head and then we get to my house and then he's just like we should do this again sometime and i look over and i'm like what do you mean <laughs> like do what and then he's like we should do this and i'm like like run from the police and then he like he laughs like i'm joking and i'm like i'm not kidding like this is like the worst experience i've ever had in my life and i only found out till after and then he was just laughing and then he was just like no but like i really like you and i'm like if you think I'm going to be sending you letters when you're locked up, you are mistaken. <laughs> you are mistaken. Um, so anyways, um, after like we have just a little talk about like, sir, what the frick do you think? Ooh, let me put this away. <laughs> a little, a little dick down. <laughs> anyway, so after we have a little talk in the car and I'm like, I'm like, sir, what did you think was really going to happen? What, what, what did you think you were going to gain? really um and then he's like yeah i understand cool so i'm like okay cool um i got the car i'm like just when you get home though i still want to make sure you're safe he's like all right bet because he put me in danger too you know so anyway um the next day comes i'm like waiting for a text from him because i still don't hear from him anxiety starts kicking in i'm like oh my god like let me just not think nothing of it because normally i'd never message first because i like to see you know how much do you want me even if i don't want you how much do you want me so i always wait for him to text me um, I didn't hear nothing. Two days passed, nothing. Three days passed, nothing. So now I'm like, oh wait, maybe he was like offended that I said like, you know, I'm not gonna be there for you if you get, you know? So then I was like, okay, cool. We're chilling. Everything's fine. I'm living my life, doing my thing, you know, what a bad girl should pull. And then maybe two months later, I get a little text. Talk about some, hey, I'm back. I was like, sir, what do you mean you're back? Where did you go? He's like, yeah, I was, um, I was locked up for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm like, okay, maybe you didn't do something that bad if you were only gone for like two months and now you're back. But sir, what did you mean? <laughs> the cops literally pulled him over after he dropped me home. So I said, somebody is on my side because of what? <laughs> Like, imagine that was when I was in the car. Like, maybe that's a little selfish for me to even think about, but imagine if that was when I was in the car. You know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully they were just, like, someone else in the car. She clearly not involved. Look at her. She too pretty. <laughs> but it happened when he drove me home. He got locked up. But, yeah, he's, like, so, um, I'm on probation, so, like, I'm not fully clear, but, like, yeah, I am out. Um, good behavior. All of this talk. And then he's, like, if you want, um, to, like, do like a redo day i'm like sir mm, no um we can be cool you know uh i'm a little bit scared of you i ain't gonna cap i'm a little bit scared because if you have enough 
balls to go on a date knowing that there is a warrant out for your arrest. A SWAT team could bust down this car any fucking minute. And you're not worried about that. You worried about you. You worried about, oh, I don't have my wallet. That's your main concern. Babe, I'm thinking there's some mental issues going on. I'm thinking that our priorities are not in aligned. And you have some, you, you may have some bigger um, demons to be battling if that's the case. Because it's not like he's in love with me or anything. Or maybe he is. You know, I would be too. But we, like, did not know each other that long. So there's no reason for him to be so, like, persistent on me. Or he's in love. <laughs> you know, it's not that It's not that outlandish for him to just be in love. Um, but, yeah. So I was definitely in my Bonnie and Clyde, Harley Quinn, and Joker era with this. That was probably the funniest thing that's ever happened to me. He said it so nonchalantly. Oh, yeah. And there's one out for my first. Like... I was like, oh my god, <laughs> am I with El Chavo? It's giving I'm on a date with Pablo Escobar. I went on a date with Public es Pablo Escobar's son, and that's literally possibly the name of this video. Anyway, um, this that's just like a mini story time. I hope you enjoyed, because I enjoyed filming. I enjoyed talking about this. this is quick, but I enjoyed talking about it because it was absolutely hilarious. Um, I know what y'all want to see, so y'all don't even got to comment, because I know what you want to say. And like I say, it's in the works. You know what I'm saying? I just got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to get like another camera. And there's just some things. Trust me. It's, it's going to come. Just wait. Just wait. Wait, daddy, please. Anyway, yeah. So that's just a mini story time. Like, comment, share with your friends. Subscribe. You know the dear ear. And yeah, you know what it is. You know what it isn't. See ya.